you can see the difference. We've all seen that with the, the copper showing, especially on this kind of thing, which looks better, which is neater and which is safer and stronger. Cable ferrules. Um, I've got this little kit. These are bootlace ferrules. But what are they? Where do we use them and how do we use them? Basically, tin plated copper tube, which we place over uh, a braided or a stranded cable and then crimp it down using the tool. And that gives the cable a lot more strength and stops it from getting all crushed. If you've ever put a stranded or braided cable into a chock block like this or a connector block, uh, you know exactly what I mean. If you go too mad with it, it all flays out. You can even snap them. This stops that. I'll show you how. Twist that cable, keep it together, because we've got to put it in the tube. Now this crimp tool is going to need adjusting. There's a little cam on here. So if we undo this, take the screw out, and have the, have the ratchets released, otherwise this will be under load and it won't like it. Number three for that one. There's a plus and a minus on this, so it's fairly easy to figure out which way you've got to go if it's too loose. Tighten it up a bit. Go to the next one round if it's too tight. Go the other way. Right. Then we get our ferrule, find one that a nice snug fit. And then put that in the crimp tool. Crimp it down. Check that it's tight. And now when you put this or move it in and out of this chop block, connector block. Even if you over tighten it. And it gets put back in again. And someone else does the same thing again. And not only does that look a little bit nicer, we've got the sleeve on there. It's a lot more serviceable now. There's actually a better, stronger connection. We're not going to break strands off of that. Reason being, this copper is harder than the copper the cable's made out of because it doesn't need to do this. This last little bit here, all we need to do is be able to tighten it up. Lighting circuits. Now this is a 1.5 mil cable, but one mil is becoming um, increasingly popular. With, with the advent of LED lighting, you don't need as much uh, power going through the circuits so you can get away with a, with a thinner, thinner cable. Um, it's easier to move around or manipulate, it's cheaper. So they're gravitating towards one mil for a lot of stuff now. The downside of that is, is it's not as strong even as this, and this stuff has its limits. So this is 1.5 mil. Again, we just select a ferrule that's a nice snug fit. See that one's too small. Let's put a red one on. Nice snug fit. We've adjusted our crimping tool, put the ferrule in the tool, crimp it down, make sure that this is a nice snug fit, it's not coming off, you can't pull it off. Now, same thing again, if when this was on, if this was on when it was new, and the guy who fitted it, tied it up too much, and then a couple of years later, again, you come along, decorate, take it out, or it gets taken out for whatever reason, upgrading the switches. Nice, neat finish. But more importantly, you've now got a stronger connection. So that's a quick look at why I like them. It's basically select the right ferrule and crimp it down. There's not much else to show you really. Um, hopefully you like this sort of thing. If you can like, subscribe, help me grow the channel. Uh, have a look at some of my other stuff. I like to keep it simple. Just show you how I use it. I'll see you on the next one, hopefully.